guys, it's Shaylee. I am so excited for today's video. I'm basically starting a new series here on my channel. Today's episode one. I filmed this video last Friday and I completely forgot to film an intro, so I'm gonna look different in a minute. This is actually more what I look like on a daily basis. No eyeshadow barely, well, light eyeshadow. So when I mention that I'm wearing a lot of makeup, that's why, because this is what I normally look like. It's essentially a get ready with me video, but the difference I would say is I kind of want to go into it with like topics I want to discuss versus get ready with me videos. I usually just throw up the camera and just start talking. I don't have a plan. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope you guys like this idea. If you have anything specific you want me to talk about, you know, if you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments and maybe I'll talk about it next Monday when I do another Monday makeup chat. So thanks for hanging out and let's get going. I was blow drying my hair, but I figured let's just start and get going and then when my camera gets overheated like it always does I'll stop and finish with my hair while I'm waiting for it to cool back down so if you've been watching my videos like my glow up mama vlog I went and got like lip filler teeth whitening I went to the dentist I got all sorts of fun stuff done my extensions but that was like in January and my nose has been having let me show you it's kind of close up so get ready I have just been having like all this redness and breakout this is actually just a breakout on my lips but all this I've been having that since January and I've been doing Aquaphor and that like helps for a day or two and then it's just dry again and red. So I've been using cortisone cream, but it's the end of March. Today is the 31st and I just still have this like red peely rash right here. And I think I might have eczema or like psoriasis or something. My dad has psoriasis. My sister has eczema her whole life. So it's very much like in my family. My mom has eczema. I guess I might have eczema right there now, but I think I explained this in the intro, but if I forgot to do that, because I'm obviously recording this first, I did a big Mac haul for my last video. So I'm just gonna be playing with all of those things as I'm talking today. So it might seem like it's mostly Mac because it is. <laughs> I really liked this, by the way, this is the Hyper Real Moisturizer. It's called Skin Canvas Balm, and it's that was just like a little sample I got, but I really like it. I've used it like the last three days under my makeup. It smells really nice and like just fresh and clean. I just feel like I've been breaking out everywhere. <laughs> That's why I haven't made tutorials and like my nose is breaking out. I had like the worst breakout on my neck ever for like three weeks and it's still there. I got micro needling done. It's supposed to like really improve skin texture. I'm very excited about it. I have two more sessions coming up because you do it once a month, but I don't know if it like made everything come out. I don't know if it was cause I was on keto and then I was eating sugar. I don't know what was happening. I also have been very anxious and depressed. Like I'm gonna talk about. Today's a great day. I've been feeling good the last couple days, but um, all those things contribute. How you feel inside comes out, you know, and like stress and I got a massage the other day and she's like, oh my God, you are so tense. Like the entire hour I had to focus on your back because you're so tense. You didn't even go to my legs. So I just feel like it's all connected. I love a fresh pot of painterly paint pot from MAC. It's what I use every day on my eyes. So I want to talk today about a couple things. I wrote them on my little paper here because I want these videos to be more chatty than about the makeup because I love just talking to my girlfriends and like doing our makeup together. Like I constantly use this app called Marco Polo. I want that connection that I have like with my sister and I do it with my friend Cassie a lot to come across in a video. Like if you're sitting by yourself and you're feeling the way I'm feeling, you can turn on this video, get ready. And it feels like we're hanging out as girlfriends talking about this stuff and you're not alone. So along with my um, micro needling, I got Botox. And if you are new around here, I have a almost 17 month old. So I didn't get any filler or Botox or anything like that for the longest time because I had been pregnant and I had um, been breastfeeding. So I think now you can get that stuff done. You have to just sign a waiver or something, but I just didn't do it. And I was a stay at home mom home with no one seeing me. So anyways, I just went and got it done. I did it two weeks ago, almost three weeks ago when I don't have Botox I have this wrinkle right here that really bugs me it's like that usually when I like lift my eyebrows that's what I wanted to be gone so she did it at first I couldn't lift this front part at all it was only out here and I feel like my normal brows are like that like they're more rounded and so I felt like with that more dramatic arch I was looking mean the first like week that it kicked in so like last week 
I could not move the front of my eyebrow at all. So I'd go like this and only this part would move. And it looked so wild and I freaked out for a minute. Like, what did I do? But now that it's healing, it's so pretty and exactly what I wanted. But at first I was nervous. So if you ever, I've only had Botox, like I think maybe two other times. So it was very like new to me. And I think this is the most I've ever had. So just like give yourself a little time if it, that's ever you, cause it will take a minute to get even and like how it's gonna actually be. So in the Mac haul I did, I put together this palette of different single shadows that I customized and stuff. So I'm going to be using this and I'll write down everything I'm doing in the description box since this is mainly going to be a video talking about a bunch of other stuff instead of the makeup. So I want to start with talking about depression. I will list all my videos down below that I can remember where I've talked about this if you want to kind of like learn more about what I've previously talked about. But my last video talking about depression was about like postpartum depression because I felt like I, I had that. So this was last fall. I just feel like sometimes depression can be a roller coaster, even like week to week, month to month day to day even. So it's really wild though, because March of 2022 last year, I would say was like my hardest month. And that was the month that I was like, how am I going to get through this? And a lot of it, I can't remember where my husband was, but I remember thinking I was alone a lot. Like when I talked about it before, I'll have to go back and like watch my video and see where my husband was. I was like alone for 12 hours a day home with my baby, just having a hard time. And I felt like this month, my husband, there's been so much flooding. We live in California, so much water, which is great because we're normally in a drought, but he's been gone doing flood control. He's a firefighter. So in the whole like 14 years we've been together or something, I've never seen him go do this. So it's pretty wild. He was gone for like almost two weeks. So I was alone a good chunk of March. So it's just kind of crazy that that same month last year was my hardest month, was probably the hardest this year so far. I mean, it's only three months in, but it just kind of feels weird. And my birthday month is in March. So it bums me out. Like I don't want March every year to be like doomsday. Like, oh my God, is this going to be a horrible month again? I feel like I don't know how to do my eyeshadow anymore, by the way. Never wear my own really. I always am doing other people's. So when I go to do mine, I'm like, what are you doing? This looks crazy. So yeah, I don't know, a lot happened in March. Like my husband was gone, like I said, my little baby girl started daycare. I changed my schedule around as far as I used to work out on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then I moved it to Tuesday, Thursdays. And I know that sounds like so silly, but when you're a stay-at-home mom and like you have nothing, and then you start adding it back, like last October I started working, I started doing my Pilates in January, I think that was like an actual schedule. And then you start daycare, your husband's gone 12 hours a day and at work that whole time. So like it's all on you to figure out what's happening. All that stuff, like I'm learning more and more the older I get, I am a routine person. If you would have asked me, I would have been like, oh no, I don't like routine. I like just going with the flow. I realize like that shakes me. Like when stuff isn't normal and I don't have control over it. And I don't know if that's like just becoming more of who I am or that was always in there. I don't know, but it just was hard. And I'm sure so many of you can relate to that. Like when things aren't normal, when your spouse or your partner isn't there, or like maybe for you, it's like your mom, like if your mom's out of town. And so it was just like, I didn't have my normal support system. This is what happens when I have too much time to play around and do makeup. I start doing all this like dark wild stuff. I'm going to get my ears pierced with my friend. We're going to lunch and getting our ears pierced with her daughter too. So it's like, why am I putting on all this makeup? So I got these cool little e.l.f. Um, liquid shadows and they are amazing. They're very much like the Stila, the Stila liquid shadows. I think I'm just gonna do regular liner and smoke it out. Cause I already have so much eyeshadow on. I feel like a wing is just like a lot. It's so funny if I could send this video back in time to my like 25, 26 year old self, I'd be like, you don't have a lot on. Like I don't even wear eyeliner anymore that much guys. So this is a lot for me. But just to show you, like after I put the black, then I'll take Embark, which is that color I was talking about right here. It's like a purpley fudge, chocolatey brown. It's like purple, but it's not purple purple. And I'll take that over the top, outer edges, and smoke it out. Looks so pretty. And then if you want to, you can take like a bigger brush because I'm just doing it with that flat definer, but you can take any little blending brush. I just pinched this one. And then I'm gonna go back with my crease color, which is this color here. This eyelash curler is the best eyelash curler from Shiseido. Oh, I don't know what I would do without that. So I got these two mascaras in my MAC haul. I hate this one. <laughs> like I'm so bummed. I thought it was gonna be great. It's called the Magic Extension and it's supposed to be a fiber building mascara. I don't even wanna use it because I don't want my lashes to look 
like that today. I feel like the only person that would be good with good for is if you have like really really thin lashes and you just need like some volume but for somebody who has just like i don't have totally wimpy lashes i don't know okay maybe i'll use it and just show you but it's just it does nothing it's like what is the purpose of this so it's fibrous little like it's supposed to be building on your lashes right i don't know i just i feel like it just kind of like clumps them up without adding too much length to them okay i don't hate it as much the second time <laughs> but i really yeah i just i think i was expecting more my expectations were maybe too high all right we're back and i'm so happy because i got my hair done my little internal temp got hot like i said it was going to it always does that on this camera i feel like i just don't have enough room there we go that's better i'm very excited because i finally got strobe cream this is the gold light this is like a shimmery gold moisturizer i like to mix it in too with my foundation so i'll just put that on here and then we'll mix it in with the foundation so anyway, back to how I've been feeling. I've been feeling good the last couple days, so I don't want to dive too much into like what I was feeling like, but I'll just put it this way. I was crying, upset, feeling hopeless feelings. It's weird because I can totally describe it, but I almost want to pop up the camera one time right when I'm like in an episode or something because sometimes it's hard to exactly explain it later when you're feeling a little bit better. Anyways, I'm gonna mix. This is uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place makeup. I feel like it's a nice full coverage foundation, so this will be good um, with the strobe cream to kind of cut that down because this is like a matte foundation and I like to typically be a little more glowy. And so adding that strobe cream kind of mixes the matte and the glowy together. Oh, I cannot wait until that breakout is gone. It's so annoying. So anyway, where I'm kind of at in my head mentally and why I felt like I had to bring it up is because last video, like I was saying, I kind of left it off like, oh, I got out of this. And now that I'm feeling it again and considering medication again, I feel weird not saying that. I don't think it's like I need to just update the internet every time I change my feelings, but I know that there are a few of you that have wrote me and so I feel like I need to keep an open dialogue with those people invested because I want to be honest and I don't know. Do you get what I'm saying? I feel like a crazy girl over here, but again, the, like it's a year later, you know, I was really struggling last March. I felt like I kind of like dug myself out of it, got through summer and like fall. I remember September was hard. The holidays were hard. It's like, I feel like I'm constantly having to prioritize like feeling good and trying to be positive and trying to have a good day. And I don't feel like that used to be my everyday life. I had bouts of that, but now it's like a constant thing on my mind. I don't want that to be my life. I don't want that to be my reality. If I can control it, like why not make that not my reality? Do you know what I mean? And I feel like I'm doing everything in my possibility or everything possible to not have that be my reality. Like I get outside and I walk with my daughter. We get out in nature. I have my workout classes. I'm not eating perfectly, but I'm definitely eating like pretty healthy. I drink water. I don't drink a ton of alcohol. I have been lacking on like journaling. I've been doing just a lot of like scrolling at night. So instead of that, that's one change I have been trying to do the last couple days is like get back into more like reading or journaling because I think that that makes a big difference. Being on your phone forever isn't always great, you know? I still really want to get my hormones checked because I feel like that is also a big part of it. Sorry, I'm like trying to find a brush I want to use. But yeah, it's just hard. Like I, I just didn't want people to think that it's just like, I'm feeling this way. Oh, now it's over and I never talk about it again. No, this is something I constantly struggle with over the year, um, last year, and it's just like continuing. I don't know. And this is another thing that's been on my mind. Shaylee rambles. Before I had a baby, this would just be called depression. And then after I called it postpartum depression, right? Because it's considered that, like if you're a new mom. But then what happens after that time passes? Like at what time is it just, no, you're just depressed instead of, um, oh, it's because you had a baby, you know? My daughter's almost 17 months old. It's like, I think it's just, you're struggling with depression, regular old depression. So that's, you know, just something on my mind too. So that's another thing that makes me feel like maybe I just should try medication again. Like I haven't tried it since I was like 21 years old or something and I'm 33. And so I'm like, maybe I just should. Would I just wake up? I could just be myself. I don't know. I feel like when you're depressed too, you, it affects everyone around you that's close. I, I'm 
really good now I think about putting on quite a front because I do want to be happy that's how I do want to be so it's kind of like a fake it till you make it and it's not like you're upset every hour of the day but it's like always in there you know it's always down in there and you're trying to like okay I'm gonna be happy I'm gonna have a good day and at some point I just don't want to have to do that I just want to be happy and I just want to have a good day so anyways I'm just so grateful that I am a positive person that struggles with depression versus being like a pessimistic person because I feel like that would be a terrible combination. It would just be very easy to like lean into the depression and let it take over and I always feel like I'm fighting it. I feel like I want some orange juice. I don't know why, I just know it's in my fridge and I've been drinking coffee all morning and water. I just feel like some vitamin C sounds so good. Mmm, look at that yummy orange juice. And I put it in a pretty glass. I'm bringing up the second thing I want to talk about, and that is romanticizing life. I was listening to a podcast. I'll link it below. It's Stasi Schroeder that used to be on Vanderpump Rules, and they talk all about like romanticizing their life. It was like a light bulb went off in my head, or like an explosion went off in my head more. Like, you know when you, you just used to live your life some way, and then now you're like, oh my god, I used to always do stuff like that. That's how I felt. Why did I stop doing that? So I feel like I was like pretty good at romanticizing my life, taking everyday little scenes in your life or like, you know, events in your life. If you're gonna be doing the dishes, that's like a humdrum boring thing, but like lighting your candle, putting on your favorite music, making it a fun event, the most fun it could be. I would do that before having my daughter and not that I just like completely quit, but I just feel like I really, really want to start making an effort to do that kind of stuff again. That's how you enjoy life and that's how you're present is like romanticizing every little part of it, you know, and just being grateful and enjoying every moment and making each moment you're given like the best it can be, you know? And I, you know, not every moment. I think when you just start doing stuff like that, it becomes a habit and it's not even a thought. You're not like stressed out about it. Like, how am I going to romanticize this? part of my life. Changing my kid's diaper. I've been even doing that. Like each time I'm changing Golden's diaper, I try to make it more fun. We're laughing and I'm like tickling her. We open up the window so it's nice and sunny in there. I might even turn on the Alexa and have our music for the morning going. Pouring your orange juice in a nice pretty cup. Romanticizing every moment you can, I guess. Maybe that'll help with how I've been feeling too. Just like making everything happier and prettier and like more being more present in it, I think is gonna be a good thing. And so I'm really excited to start doing that again. Okay, the last thing I was gonna talk about, my discipline, because I feel like so many people can probably relate to this. So I talked earlier in like January about my vision board. Every year I do a vision board, but last year I didn't because I was having a newborn and I just felt <laughs> overwhelmed and I never got around to doing it. Well, guess what guys? It is March 31st. I have not done that. I've printed out the pictures. I have the um, frame, but I, I think I keep wanting things to be perfect. And this is something else. I'll be like, well, I want to like sit down and have my, like a nice glass of wine and like have my alone time and create my vision board. And that opportunity for some reason just hasn't happened. And it's like, Maybe that's just not how it's gonna be and it's not gonna be perfect, so just do the best you can, you know? Do you guys find yourself doing that, like holding off on things because you overthink about it and you want it to be a certain way and you're worried like if it's not that way, it's not gonna be right? I don't know if I'm just sounding so crazy this entire video. You're getting the real inner thoughts of me right now. I really wanna visualize and see my vision board every day and I feel like that stuff and those goals I have tend to like just fall by the wayside and when you're not like disciplined with like what your overall like long-term wants and goals are and like the person you want to be I feel like it turns into just like getting through the day not doing those things that are going to make you happy in the long run and so then you just end up getting through getting through getting through and of course you're going to be depressed if you're just getting through like I want to like be enjoying the part of getting to the the goals or like getting I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense. So yeah, I feel like my discipline is something I really want to work on too. Today I was very good and intentional. Like I really didn't feel like making this video because I felt like I was talking a lot and in a weird mood like this where I was going to be all over the place. This is going to be a bitch to edit, I'll tell you. <laughs> but I made myself do it because I was like, no, I wanted to play with the MAC makeup. So I'll show you emphasize since I'm fair right now. It's going to be fine. See how light that is? I made myself do it. And if I don't use this video, I don't use it. If you're seeing it, I must have been able to edit it okay at least, but I'm telling you, I probably cut half of it out. This is Peyote from Urban Decay. Viva 2, the best color. 
Now I'm going to use Fix Plus. So I was talking in the video. It's not a um, first time I've sprayed this one. It's not a makeup extender, but it just helps like all your powders sink into the skin so that they're not all just like sitting right on your face. Do you know what I mean? Just makes it look a little bit more natural and married together. Okay, I had my camera get too hot again. Gotta just start filming with my phone, but I need to go get a new phone, I think. My hands have been so dry. Sorry if you hear my dog barking. This is by Grown Alchemist. It's the body cream. It's mandarin rosemary leaf, basically like a really hydrating moisturizer. And I have been obsessed with this stuff. I have a whole nother tube already on backup because I just, I love the smell. It smells like a spa and I like it because it's really, really moisturizing, but I find that it absorbs fairly quickly. Like your hands don't feel sticky and gross for too long. I love putting that on every morning and night right now. I'm gonna go get my little girl. So I just threw on sweats, but I'm gonna show you um, cause I have to come home and like put her to bed and I like to rock her to sleep. And I find that if I'm actually going somewhere and I wanna look cute, I shouldn't put on that outfit until like I'm leaving her <laughs> cause she gets food on it or drool or dirt or something inevitably. I did wanna throw on my powder. That's the last thing I wanted to do when my camera was dying. So I always take Mac Studio Fix powder. This is an NC20 cause I'm very light right now, but I like to take it right here at the very end of my makeup and just so that any like harshness with my blush gets blended away, pores kind of get blurred just right in the T-zone. I'm gonna do it right here since I have that breakout, but it's just like a light, light dusting. This is a foundation powder. So you could go in and pack this on and use this for coverage. I don't think I put on any hourglass powder. Who am I? If you know me lately, you know I'm obsessed with the hourglass powders. They just are so glowy and so pretty and I can't live without them. My favorite color is called Luminous Light. It's not in this palette. It's more of like a pink, like a, it's kind of like this, but a little bit darker. And it's my favorite of all time. It's so pretty. But yeah, that's gonna be it for my makeup. I will show you guys what I pick out for my outfit. Just something easy. But the reason I wanna show you is because I just got a bunch of cute stuff from Abercrombie. I think I'm gonna do a whole haul, but if I end up wearing any of that, I'll show you what I picked out for today. So this is the outfit I threw together all from Abercrombie besides the sandals. I am trying to learn how to style pants instead of wearing jeans all the time. So let me know how I did. I kind of felt like I looked like I was going to work or something, but I'm gonna keep trying. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next week.